After the bandwidth and no load voltages are checked, the controls are restored to normal. The test rheostat is turned back to the auto control position. The reactance and resistance voltage compensation dials are carefully returned to their original positions. And the control switch is turned from test to automatic, which restores control to the regulator so that the regulator can operate again. With control restored, the regulator can be operated to make sure that various parts of the regulator are working properly. Operating the regulator will change the regulator output voltage temporarily. But in general, by keeping the changes small, customers should not be noticeably affected. Of course, changes may be more critical in some circuits than in others. So if you're not sure of the effect of operating a regulator, check with someone who knows. By manually lowering the regulator a few tap positions, a number of components can be checked. One check is the operation of the position indicator. It should move in the lower direction. The operation of the position indicator, as well as the sound of the regulator operating, mean that the motor circuit and motor are working. In general, the regulator should be stopped before it is operated more than a few tap positions to avoid affecting service to customers. Then the control switch can be turned back to the auto position to allow the regulator to return to its original tap position. In doing this, several other checks can be made. The timing circuit and time delay setting can be checked by timing how long it takes for the regulator motor to start after the control dial is turned to auto. The timed interval should be the same as the time in the setting sheet. If it's not, the time delay dial may need to be adjusted. The fact that a delay occurred before the regulator operated indicates that the time delay circuit and the automatic operation circuit are both working. While the regulator is changing taps, the operation counter may be observed to make sure it is functioning. After the regulator stops, several other operational checks can be made by manually operating the regulator a few steps in the raise position. This time, the position indicator is checked to make sure it operates in the raise direction. If, during the operational checks, the regulator was not operated through neutral, it should be operated to neutral to check a couple of other items. With the regulator stopped at the neutral position, the neutral or flat voltage is recorded.